normally I like to make videos that are helpful, <laughs> that, uh, where I can give you some good advice about how to get around problems you might face in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, but recently I have been grappling with the problem of uh, trying to join an FC, like trying to find an FC that I would like to join. And now that I'm in this situation, I feel like the advice that I would normally give people is it's really hard for me to implement into my life. I just feel like I have a different perspective on things now. It's it's funny how um like I didn't even look at the at the comments in this video, but a lot of people uh would probably comment and say something like, Oh, join my FC, join my FC or whatever, because she's a content creator. Yet, I think people kind of lose the perspective of content creators being actual players as well and wanting to have an FC where they can actually connect with uh, with the community, not just the community, but like have friends there. Um, I really like my friends within uh, within my FC and I don't like at least that's that's kind of the way I see things. I don't um, I don't ever try to, I don't know, put myself on a on some sort of pedestal or anything like that. I don't, I don't do these things with my community, obviously, and I don't think anyone should. Like for me, my FC is is my community of friends who I will play on stream, who I'll play off stream, and uh, it doesn't matter, like it doesn't matter who they are or or what they like to do. It's uh, it's like you really want to be friends with someone, and I I'm I'm glad that I started, um, with RFC, uh, well before I even legitimately started streaming FF because I, I have this opportunity to actually have friends without feeling like if I join an FC, um, they're gonna see me as a content creator or whatever. Like, I feel comfortable because because there's already a group of friends that isn't a closed circle. Everyone's always welcome to join us. And I just, I just, I just feel comfortable there because people don't look at me as a, you know, as a content creator. They know I am one, but, like, I just, I just like to to have friends there okay so normally and if you watch the channel you probably heard me say it time and time again like hey if you're looking for an fc all you have to do is head on down to the community finder and look for any fc there's so many fcs on your server you can join any fc and you can just get in it join it if you don't like it leave and then join a new one and if you don't like that one leave and join a new one it's no problem there's so many choices for you that's normally what I would say. Okay, I've said it a lot. Um, but n now that I have to do this, this seems a lot easier said than done, right? Like, now I'm looking at the Community Finder and I almost feel like that's that seems like more hassle than just not joining any. <laughs> I'm like trying to rationalize. I get myself. that. Like, Why the hell do I even want to join an FC? Because I'm, I'm looking at the Community Finder and I am overanalyzing FCs. I am like looking hard at the screenshots that people are posting and I'm like, uh, are there not any other buddies? I, I didn't realize that <clears throat> people actually do this. I, I, I didn't realize that like I have to have like a, if I wanna post my FC on the community finder that it's a legitimate CV that, you know, we have to have like cool screenshots and descriptions and whatnot. Maybe I should try harder with that. <laughs> Or I'm reading the post and I'm like, is this, is that an inside joke that they just said? Like, do they have a lot of inside jokes? And maybe they have all these inside jokes so they're really quirky. And so I wouldn't <laughs> fit my work. And then <laughs> another one that's like, oh, well, here's like not a lot of active players in it. And so maybe it's really small and close knit. And so they wouldn't want me to join. Like, obviously I'm going to bring my buns. I'm going to have my buns out. <laughs> so which FC would let me have my buns out in it? Um... Well, there probably are some. Uh, you, those you'd have to find in the fellowship finder. We'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I see some that are like oh, lots and lots of active members. This is a giant FC, and I'm like, well, if there's so many people, like, it was would it even really feel like an FC? Would it be like one of those massive guilds in WoW that that you like you get invited to immediately when you make a character? Yeah, like, I, do, I don't huge, like those huge guilds, and nobody knows each other, and they're all just using the guild for the FC buffs, and like it's. It doesn't really feel like a community. And then there's some that look really promising. It's like, oh, we run lots of FC events. And 
everybody can meet each other and hang out at our FC events. And I'm like, oh, well, that seems pretty hands-on. You know, they've got a lot scheduled, a lot, a lot going on for their FC. They're interested in getting people to meet each other. That's great. But what if I just don't, like, feel like it <laughs> one day? <laughs> like, what if they have an event and I don't really want to go or I'm busy? Like, am I going to be ostracized? Like, you want to be seen as, like, oh, she's antisocial. She doesn't want to take part of it. As you can see, like, obviously, there are a million. I think she's overthinking this a little bit. Like, I, I think people, um, I think people are, uh, people do care what others do, but I think people are entirely too selfish as creatures to ever look into other people's behavior in this way. People just want to join for themselves or, or want to not join for themselves and, you know, have fun. And no one really looks into why someone didn't really join an event. Maybe from the perspective of a content creator, maybe someone would be like, oh, she doesn't want to join our events because she's a content creator and she's above that, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but I really don't, I, I, I don't think that would ever be the thing. Million, million, million different <laughs> worries, concerns, and worst case scenarios that I'm imagining. I'm, I'm thinking back to the time I heard someone tell me one time, that their FC leader forced everybody to wear a maid outfit and pose in front of the FC house for the picture that goes on the Community Finder website to advertise their FC. Everybody had to wear the outfit. Everybody had to have it dyed the same color. And this person that was telling us to me said, well, they didn't really want to wear the maid outfit. <laughs> and they didn't really want to be in the picture. And the FC leader like blew a gasket, like absolutely lost his mind. Uh, because this person was, didn't want to go along with what he said. And obviously that's terrifying. I don't want to <laughs> put myself into a situation like that. And there's no real way to know. There's no real way to know if you're going to end up in an FC where you have this megalomania. Well, it's people. It's like dealing with people. Like when you meet, when you meet new friends or new anyone, like you don't really know what the relationship is going to turn into. Like, I, I don't know. To me, I I consider myself a some, somewhat anxious and antisocial creature when it comes to you know I, I actually just like meeting new persons and like trying to do things with them but if you don't kind of overcome that fear just a little bit you don't experience the you know the the, the good sides as well i mean fcs are like relationships right like they happen and then they disband and you know things happen and they're full of drama, but full of bad things and good things as well. Like I, I think people kind of, you know, make a, make a really big deal out of the concept of an FC, and that's why that's why drama happens in the first place, in my opinion, at least. Megalomaniac FC leader, or if you have a normal person, because usually people are quite nice when you meet them, and then later on, once they get a little bit more comfortable. You start to see that they have like this other side to them, and that's the, the all of these prospects, all these different scenarios are absolutely <laughs> scary. Well, everyone has a different side and to them. I feel like it's hard. It's it's difficult to even give any a try. It's difficult to even take that step. I guess I had maybe wrongly thought that finding the right FC, this FC would just call to you almost serendipitously it would be there for you just like you know for some people that happens we had uh we had some people transferring to to rfc who said that they felt this way and hopefully they haven't looked back <laughs> i was very happy to hear that <laughs> ask and it shall be given i imagine yes universe bring me the fc and just, <laughs> then a bunny boy would descend from the heavens oh. and like, the light would be shining down on him <laughs> and he would say zeppelin <laughs> join us join us we have you can do whatever you want here <laughs> but of course that's not how this actually works and it does take i i think a fair bit of courage maybe even a bit of recklessness to <laughs> join an efc see if you like it and then leave and then join another one because then i'm thinking well what if i do that and then i become known as like the serial FC joiner where I, like nobody would want to bring it <laughs> in because they know I'm just gonna leave five minutes later like that's not good either you can build a reputation for yourself sometimes people think oh well, you're serial Zephyr. FC like, you joiner streaming it shouldn't Jeez. be a problem for you to find FC I'm surprised people haven't invited you to FC uh so far I had one person 
invite me to their group, uh, to their FC. But they said their FC is really tiny. I'm considering it, but uh, I was hoping like to maybe see, look at other potential possibilities too. Like, you know, look at the options and imagine what was gonna be the best for me. Because actually, um, counter to what many people may think, uh, having a large audience and being a streamer is something that many FCs do not really want. They don't really want that yeah. in their FC. And it's kind of understandable because it's um I, I don't know like I I've been debating like when I started recruiting uh for our FC I was like debating like whether or not I should even um I should even like tell people and let people know about it because I didn't want people to feel like this is some sort of like a self-promotional FC where they're like I don't know they're there but like the purpose of the FC is like to I don't know in any way shape or form like promote me or my content or whatever. But then you realize the kind of uh, I'm gonna be a bit dramatic and say the legal side of it as well because at some point you have their characters on screen. At some point you have them in your voice chat, and if people don't know you're a content creator, um, you can create problems for other people. You can you can get into a position where people will um. Uh, well, this thankfully hasn't happened to like us in our FC, and I've been for a while. I've only been having like the initials, uh, like written instead of people's actual names for my friends, like in the open world, and for our FC members and party members and whatnot. But like sometimes, like there are some weird people out there, and sometimes people will get stalked, and I don't want anyone to get stalked because of me. Or I don't want anyone to, like, instead of approaching me, for people to think that they should be approaching these people and, like, I don't know, ask questions or even ask if they could, like, join. Sure, yeah, you can you can ask people if they can join, but we have, uh, I, I'm pretty sure we have, like, two um, officers that I can also approve the, you know, the memberships and whatnot. They can contact me on Discord. I reply to my DMs. They could, like, I'm very open when it comes to that, and I see no reason why any other person who may not be comfortable with it would get stalked because of that. So you kind of have to tell people. And even when we have people joining from the group finder, like, I always, like, regardless of the fact that some might see it as, a, you know, a promotional thing or whatever, like, I don't want it to seem that way. But at the same time, like, I have to tell them that I'm streaming uh, because of their voice, because someone just doesn't want to have their voice on stream, and that's totally fine. But, like, I can't block their particular voice for me to hear, but for other people not to hear, so. They don't want their small, close-knit FC to suddenly become, oh, that's the streamer's FC, right? They don't want their, um, their vibe or their culture to change because of a streamer or content creator joining that FC. And uh, there are other content creators who have managed to work around this or they have leadership for their FCs that are like all on board and are fully supportive and everybody's happy with it. But me, like, I, I don't know if I would feel comfortable joining an FC and then potentially changing the culture um, in a way that they might not be ready for, even if they invite me. I, I don't know if they're fully ready for that. So obviously I'm overthinking this, uh, but uh, maybe not. Maybe these are things that I need to keep in mind. So weirdly, in, in some ways, being a content creator has been a little bit, um, isolating in the search for an FC. And these are just extra considerations that I have to have in mind. But all that aside, all this content creator stuff aside, I am now experiencing uh, what it's really like for people that have often asked me for advice on how to join an FC. And I gave them the standard advice without actually being in their shoes. And now I have this different perspective and I, I feel you, like I feel your pain. I understand like being paralyzed with the indecision and having all these worries. And I really just wanted to talk about it. So I don't know how helpful this is gonna be, <laughs> but I, I wanted to maybe I feel validate like the, some of I them. feel like this was like a really long intro for a guide on how to do it. <laughs> the concerns that some of you have had uh, when I gave my standard advice over the years. Because I mean, I, I always had an FC, but um, I tried to run the channel FC for a while and ended up being just too unwieldy. I don't have time to run one for people that are like, well, why don't you just make your own FC? I, I tried that. It was very bad. I, I'm not a good FC leader. I don't have time to deal with it. Being an FC leader takes a tremendous amount of time and effort if you want That's to be true. good. 
and I, I don't have that. And like having people who you can trust, who are willing to just kind of take a little bit of that load for you as well is, is just, is just freaking invaluable. And you guys have been so amazing at that. Like I, I see people, you know, running their own events and just kind of, you know, not needing me as much anymore. And I just kind of like to be uh, like, yeah, I created the FC, but I don't like being called like the FC leader because I don't like, I don't like leading people into into content necessarily. Um, I like organizing events, but I also like seeing the people um like connect amongst themselves as well. And it's it's sometimes even nice for me to like see you guys like you know run different things, and I'm not there. And it's just it's just nice knowing that this community has helped people you know make other friends and just like connect in ways that are not connected to me. So that that feels pretty good time so it's just not something i can put on other people and i would prefer to just you know join and be just another bun right <laughs> so lots to think about previously like for the past year i had pretty much just been sitting in a dead fc that's what i've been doing for the past year but with inwalker coming out and like something about maybe like how emotionally broken i got from inwalker that it made me want to join an fc because i need like shoulders to cry on and like it just made me want to talk about I get that happen more with people every day in fc chat so that's where i am and i just want to say you know people looking for fcs i feel you i feel you but um there are things that the game makes harder okay searching for the right one is hard enough as we've been over but the game itself makes this so much harder than it needs to be because of the lack of really good tools to use in game to either advertise your FC or search for an FC. It is like the system of looking for one or advertising. This is actually constructive feedback for, for the devs. I'm glad that she included this in a video. Advertising your FC is complete shit. It is so, so, so bad. Like right now, people are using the uh party finder in the other tab if you're advertising or looking and uh, i imagine there's a lot of people especially new players who don't know to look there and when you are doing that you have to w just wait like you can't do anything you can't join another party you can't do instance content you can just like yeah. do fake farming and crafting i guess until <laughs> you're done advertising and it's just it's not good there's the fellowship finder but it's pretty much just a bulletin board. It is most helpful to think of it as a Discord link finder. <laughs> so maybe if an FC put their Discord link there, that could be helpful. I don't know if it's just something about Phoenix, but on my server, our fellowship finder is filled with uh, kink groups. Like I <laughs> learned what male macro kink meant because- I, I don't know anything about this. What is this? Because I was looking for an FC in the fellowship finder i didn't join anything i didn't go to any link i'm just searching through fellowship finder and i'm learning about all kinds of different kinks that people have because there's a fellowship for each one <laughs> it's all there uh and that's fine like to, don't get me wrong I, i'm not kink shaming like whatever kink people have is fine i never even like i, I never even knew that was there <laughs> i have to go and look at that <laughs> that's okay and it, if they can use fellowship fire to find each other that's fantastic but i'm just saying that's not uh it's more it's like fetish finder <laughs> that's not what i was there for okay i was not there for that that's all i'm trying to say i was there looking for fc uh so i mean going through all this i just have to ask myself like like, do I need an FC at all? Like, I'm convincing myself. The longer this process goes on, the more I'm convincing myself. I don't think I do. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I don't. Okay, like, I have a Discord server. I have YouTube comments, chat. <laughs> we have um, Twitch chat. We have uh, the Discord server. Did I mention the Discord server? Static server. Um, and, uh... Sounds like she already has an FC without having one. <laughs> I, for XP buffs, I have squadron manuals. I have squadron battle manuals. Don't need an FC for that. So, uh, probably wouldn't go to any events. But, I mean, <laughs> it is nice to be invited. I guess, you know, I guess what it really all comes down to is I want those speed boosts in the city. 
I want the speed boost in the city. Uh, that's it. I mean, I want to be a little bit faster going from the etherite to the market board. Like the five steps I have to take, maybe I could take three steps instead. And that's more optimal. <laughs> I really wish that I, I could wrap up this video with a pretty bow that's like, so I've learned from my journey that the best way to find an FC is to literally go to their FC house and go into their house and just wait, just wait inside until- That's so creepy. Like, what are you doing in our house? And they're like, I live here already. <laughs> and I'm like, you're not in our FC. And you're like, what are you talking about? I'm totally in your FC. You could do, uh, didn't George do that on Seinfeld? Uh, one time <laughs> where he just pre he, like, pretended to work there at a business but he didn't really work there <laughs> you fake it till you make it baby that's what i'll do anyway <laughs> i hope that in some way this video was um enlightening um, was entertaining <laughs> if you're going through this or if you have gone through this if you have some words of encouragement words of wisdom for me uh in the comments section below if you like this video consider supporting the channel on patreon or on twitch you can also support the channel for free just by clicking that subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow Lopperets. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do a different one every time, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. That was a good video. I I kind of I kind of I don't know feel for her because um because it's it's a lonely journey and like from my perspective at least when you're a content creator you just kind of want to. You just kind of want to have a good time, just like everyone else. But at the same time, you don't want to freak people out. And you want to be able to organize events and participate in them. But at the same time, you want to, you want people to be okay with you not having enough time. So that's, uh, I don't know, for me, that's the, 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 that part is pretty sad. Because sometimes, like, someone will ask me, like, if I can do something. And I'm, like, in-game taking screenshots or doing something like that but I'm like I can't I'm working like I'm editing but they're like yeah I know but like you're here you know like you're in game and it just ah oh, it just it kind of feels so bad to say no to people all the time and well not all the time like I try to say yes as much as I can but like sometimes I will just be there like semi AFK and be able to you know emote from time to time and just kind of stand there but uh, but not really participate in you know dungeons and whatever and it kind of you know it kind of sucks you know sometimes I'll see people like in a in a in a full party you know doing stuff and I'm just kind of standing in Limsa uh, occasionally crafting something or or just like I don't know, saying hi to people, but like on my second screen, like there will be work. And I'm just like, oh, sometimes it just feels so bad. I only do that during the night, by the way, when there's no queue or anything like that. I wouldn't like to take anyone's spot. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, I, I feel this and I hope I hope she finds um, I hope she finds, you know, a good FC that will just kind of fit her needs. <laughs>